I've reviewed keyboards on the channel in the past that I've said have come close to the realms of custom boards, be that on price tag alone or on the features available on some of the pre-built boards I've covered. We're going to take that a little bit further today with the help of this. This is the GMMK Pro from Glorious, but not just the GMMK Pro, there's all of this stuff too. Iron Wolf Pro, tough, ready, scalable. Now this board is nothing new. It's been out for a while now, originally releasing back in mid 2021. Almost two years is a very long time in the tech world. So one big question that I've got from the off is how does this lot hold up after all that time? So kicking off to look at the board itself, customization and modularity are definitely the name of the game with this keyboard. Overclockers sent over the barebones 75% board in black slate, along with a ton of accessories for this review. First, let's have a look at the barebones board and what's included with that. Then we'll go through the different parts I've got just to see just how customizable this thing is. The board on its own will set you back 166 quid roughly, or you can use Overclockers nifty keyboard configurator to choose exactly what you want. Prices start from roughly 230 quid for a complete keyboard and go up and down as you add or remove different parts. The bare bones board includes everything you need apart from switches and keycaps. The case is CNC machined from a single block of aluminium. It's absolutely rock solid. The included back plate and top case are also aluminium and they're rock solid too. The whole thing feels more premium than anything I've ever tried before. The board's got a 75% layout, so you still get function and arrow keys. And there's also a dial in the top right corner, which can be used for just about anything you like after you set it up in the Glorious Core software, which we'll talk about later. The bottom of the case has some pretty industrial looking branding in the form of the word Glorious engraved smack bang in the middle. Glorious have included a set of their GOAT stabilizers, that name's a bit questionable, which do come pre-installed in the PCB. They're screwing stabs and they're pretty good, but that was only after I'd taken them out and removed the ridiculous amount of lube that was on them from the get-go. They were really sticky and mushy when I first built this keyboard, and looking online I can see that's quite a common issue. Once I cleaned them up, added some cushioning to the PCB in the form of a band-aid mod and re-lubed them, they were great though. The PCB's got south-facing LEDs, which is something to bear in mind if you do like RGB, as they won't shine through as much as the north-facing LEDs that are usually found on RGB gaming keyboards. This board also has customizable LED strip sections on each side, which flash when the caps lock is turned on. There are no feet on the GMMK Pro, so you're stuck with the six degree typing angle provided by the case, which has been fine for me. I found the GMMK Pro really comfortable to use. Now let's run through the accessories and the various parts you can get for the GMMK Pro before we dive into a build and then a few sound tests. Glorious produce a crazy amount of accessories for this keyboard, which you can use them to really make the GMMK Pro feel unique to you. I've got two sets of Glorious GPBT keycaps, Black Ash and the Arctic White sets, they're really good quality, feel well made and look great, and as the name suggests, they're made from PBT plastic. Then there's the polycarbonate switch plate, which can be swapped into the board in place of the standard aluminium plate that comes with the Bare Bones GMMK Pro. We'll take a listen to how both of these sound a little bit later in the video. You can also pick up different colour top frames for an easy way to change the looks of your keyboard if you ever fancy switching things up a bit. The black ash keyboard came with a matching black ash top frame, but switching it out for this Arctic white model is pretty simple. I'll give you a full rundown of the build process in a few minutes. The rotary dial can also be changed to a different color. There are a decent amount of colors available. I've got the black, white, gold, and blue dials to choose from. Glorious also make a variety of coiled cables like this snazzy gold option. You can select from the various Glorious switch options to complete the GMMK Pro build. I've got Glorious Pandas and Glorious Gator and Browns here, but there are plenty more to choose from. The choice of different parts available for this board is crazy. There's bound to be something that will suit any style or any preference. And what's more, 
There's nothing to stop you adding non-glorious keycaps and switches to really make this thing your own. It's also compatible with QMK and VIA firmware, so you can customize and upload a layout and firmware that's totally unique to you. This is not something I've dabbled with, as I'm happy with using the stock glorious firmware, as I'm guessing most GMMK Pro owners will be, but it's nice to have the option available if you want to really get stuck in and customize this thing to your heart's content. So far, this keyboard feels like the perfect entry point for anyone looking to move away from off-the-shelf keyboards and start using something a bit more customizable and r slash mechanical keyboards worthy. So for my testing, I've been using the GMMK Pro with the GPBT Black Ash keycaps and the gold dial and coiled cable mainly, mainly because I'm a Wolves fan and I wanted a black and gold keyboard. I've been using the aluminium backplate and Glorious's Panda switches, but I wanted to show you how easy it is to customise this thing. So let's run through changing the switches, the switch plate, the keycaps, changing up the dial and swapping out the face plate for something a little more on the light side. First things first then, we need to remove the keycaps. And this is only a step that you're going to need to take if you've already built the GMMK Pro, as it doesn't come with keycaps pre-installed. This is a simple, but a bit of a time consuming process. Grab the included keycap puller and get pulling. Now the screws holding the base plate in need to be removed with a Phillips head screwdriver. These screws feel really well made, just like the rest of the board. Some of them can be a little bit over tightened, so when you put it back together, just don't overdo it. Next, you wanna pop off that rotary dial or the rotary encoder knob if we wanna get fancy with the name. Remove the switches. Again, another time consuming job, but it's not so bad when you get into the flow of it and you get a bit of a rhythm going. Next, we can remove the top frame and pop out the PCB. Take a bit of care with the connector cable attached to the bottom of the PCB when you take it out, as you don't want to rip it or pull the connector off. Then you unscrew the switch plate from the PCB to separate the two. There's a fair few screws holding these together. I like to lay them out in the order that I've removed them in and it, it really helps when you come to put it back together. It's got, you've got a plan, just work through one screw at a time. Now remove the stabilizers from the PCB and we're done. That's the GMMK Pro completely disassembled. And as I mentioned, I'm gonna be changing switches. I'm gonna go with these glorious Gator and Browns, which luckily for me are factory lubed, but I've also got the option to lube them all if I wanted to. That's where this comes in. This is the glorious lube kit. It's basically a workstation that makes lubing switches a bit easier. And for someone who's never lubed switches before like me, it helps just to keep everything a lot more organized. Lubing switches takes a long time, so something like this will really help out and make a tedious job a bit more bearable. It includes some of Glorious's G-Lube, a decent keycap puller, switch remover, lube brush, and then a universal switch opener. Everything you need to tear down and lube 36 switches at a time while keeping everything organized. So here we have it. We started with a black GMMK Pro with black keycaps, an aluminium switch plate, glorious panda switches, and then a gold dial and a gold coiled cable. And we've ended up on the lighter, slightly thuckier side of things with a white GMMK Pro, thanks to that white top frame, white keycaps, Gatter and Brown switches, a polycarbonate switch plate, white dial, and then finally a blue coiled cable to finish it all off. Like I said earlier, the customization options on offer from Glorious for this keyboard are insane. Using that keyboard builder from Overclockers makes things really convenient and you can really get a keyboard that matches your setup if that's what you're going for. Customized to your heart's content. Here are a few sound tests so you can hear what this thing sounds like, along with the difference the polycarbonate switch plate makes.
Now, I don't know about you, but I much prefer the sound of the polycarbonate switch plate coupled with the Gator and Brown switches. The keyboard has a bit of a deeper sound profile and the clacking of the keys, I'm not going to call them fucky keys because that's a, a really touchy term among keyboard enthusiasts. They're not quite thucky, but the clacking of the keys just sounds a bit softer. It also feels much, much nicer to type on. It probably would be beneficial to loop all of the switches by hand, but the factory lube isn't terrible. To me, the board still feels really nice like this. Typing and gaming on this keyboard has been a bit of a game changer for me. It's smooth, the smoothest keyboard I've ever typed on. I was worried about not having an adjustable typing angle, but the six degrees provided by the case suits me quite well. Typing has just been an overall satisfying experience. The sound and feel of the Panda switches was great, and that's been elevated a little bit since I changed the switch plate and changed to these brown switches. The stabilizers have been an ongoing battle to get right, and they've been the area that disappointed me most, if I'm honest. They're good, but only after removing the ridiculous amount of lube that was pre-applied, as I mentioned earlier. I've got them working okay now after re-lubing them and adding the Band-Aid mod, which you can look up on Google if you want to do that, but they still do rattle a little bit. That may be down to me not applying enough lube or not tuning them all that well. It's a fine balance that will take practice and experience to get right and I'll get better over time at, at tuning stabilizers. But overall, I've been really impressed with how satisfying this keyboard is. I'm finding it really hard to pick out any negatives. The RGB does lack a little bit and that's especially noticeable in a dark room. The legends on the keycaps don't shine through so well and it does take some getting used to particularly when you're new to the keyboard shape and layout. I found myself having to look down a few times, especially when it's dark. But overall, it's still the nicest keyboard I've used up to this point. The build quality is really, really good. Every single part of the keyboard and the build process feels really premium and solid. So now let's move on and talk briefly about the software. So as was the case with the glorious Model O Pro wireless mouse that I reviewed a few weeks ago, the software used to configure and customize this GMMK Pro is glorious core. It's good. As I've said in the past, bad software can ruin a product, and thankfully that's not the case with the glorious stuff that I've checked out up to this point. Glorious core is simple to use, it's designed well, and it's been bug and lag free for me. It works well and it gets the job done without any fuss. That's all I ask for in software. There are just three tabs for the GMMK Pro, lighting, key binding and performance. Obviously the lighting tab is used to control the RGB on the keyboard. There are plenty of preset options available, along with the ability to set effects on a per key basis. Key binding does exactly what the name implies. Here's where you're gonna to go to change the functionality of that dial too, as well as the rest of the keys. Then finally, there's the performance tab for changing the input latency and polling rate. This board support up to 1000 Hz polling. So in conclusion then, I've got to just come out and say, this is the best keyboard I've ever used, and it could end up being the start of a very expensive hobby for me. It's opened up a rabbit hole directly into the world of custom keyboards. The GMMK Pro is built like a tank. It weighs a ton and it feels completely rock solid. The build quality is second to none and everything feels robust and very premium. The ability to completely customize the board to pretty much however you want is great and enables you to really dial in a keyboard that complements your setup. It's definitely an enthusiast level product as going wild with the customization isn't cheap by any stretch of the imagination. But as they say, you get what you pay for and here you're getting a quality keyboard that will last a very, very long time. And that's it for the video guys, I hope you enjoyed it, please leave me a like down below if you did, we would really appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe to Kit Guru to keep up with the latest PC gaming news and reviews. If you go down in the video's description, you'll find links to our Discord server, our website, our Patreon page and our merch store if you want to check any of that out. Anyway guys, I've been Matt, this has been the GMMK Pro from Glorious along with all these accessories can check it out at Overclockers UK using their keyboard customizer. I will speak to you in the next one. Look after yourselves. See you later.